greenhouse gases uh, and how citizens uh, and uh, governments um, and uh, private sector representatives can fight that. Yeah, well, it, it depends on who you are and where you are as to what is most dangerous. Um, if you are a Pacific Islander living on a coral atoll, then, um, you know, climate change can destroy your whole country with rising sea levels, and we're already seeing that. Um, if you're an old person here in Bucharest, um, heat waves could be a real danger for you in summer because the temperature goes up and stays up and your body gets stressed and you can die. We see that quite often. In fact, in my country of Australia, heat waves are the largest natural killer. Not bushfires or sharks or crocodiles or anything, but heat waves. So that's the most dangerous thing? Depending on where you are. Certainly in, in big cities like Bucharest and Melbourne, where I come from, that is the most dangerous thing. But if you were a farmer, um, it may be that bushfires are particularly bad. Or it may be that the big droughts that we're now seeing, which are destroying your farm, are a big threat. Um, so the, th the nature of the threat varies around the world. So if you are a single citizen, what can, can you do? If you're a single citizen, um, all I can say is the world is made up of single citizens, yeah? yeah? So everyone needs to do something. So if you want to do something about climate change, you can do it in ways that benefit you and benefit your self-interest. You can be more efficient with your energy use. So when you replace some electrical appliance or your car or whatever, buy a more efficient, efficient one and save money. That's a simple, simple, sensible thing. If you want to generate your own electricity, you can buy some solar panels. So um, if it may be with your diet, if, 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 you, can, if you can't do those things, um, you might decide to eat a little bit less meat. That is a good thing too. That helps reduce greenhouse gases. Um, so there are many, many ways you can contribute. It's not about the economics, it's also about the personal choices. Yes, both economics and personal choices, they all roll in together. But all I can say is that, um, you know, we need to all become involved. One of the most powerful things anyone can do is to become involved with a group of like-minded individuals to create change. Whether it's in politics or business or community, you can do great things. So if you have children in school, go to your headmaster and say, why haven't you got solar panels on the school roof? I want my children to learn about solar powers and I'm sick of paying these big fees because your electricity bill is so high. Can you go and try to fix it? You know, we can do that with many different things. Look, governments are responsible for bettering the lives of their citizens. Yeah, it's a simple thing. So if it comes to cleaning up pollutions in cities, like in Bucharest here, and you have pretty bad air quality here, which will kill many people over time. Yeah, it's not, not very good to have. Government has a responsibility to fix that. So they need to do the planning that's required in order for us to transition to a cleaner future. They're not there to facilitate corrupt deals or to facilitate the exploitation of resources. No, that's not their job. Their job is actually to act on our behalf as the citizens of the country to create a better future for us. So um, that's, their, that's their primary job. Quite often they fail to do that. But that's up to us then to change that. We as people need to say that what you are doing is not good enough. We need you to do better. We, when I was here in, um, in Bucharest last week, I went to a school and there were many children of different ages there. And, um, one little boy who was six years old asked a question. And his father said, no, don't ask, don't ask. But he was trying to put his hand up. So I said, yes, what is your question? And he said, what is a politician? And I thought, that is the great question, really. What is a politician? Huh? Maybe we all should be politicians a little bit, yeah, to, to become engaged, to try to better our society. But I think that whoever can answer that question well, whichever country can answer that little boy's question well, will really succeed because I'll be asking a very fundamental question.